Also, the Jingle Mastery, one balance strike could. I'm in. Extremely squishy. So, yes, hello and. Please, some of you guys will. Very lucky enough. Witness the 10k MMR. Prepare for battle. Traversy, though, you know, NA, 10k NA versus. Mid one, the real ten. I mean, ten k is ten k, right? Who am I to judge? Can we look at the prime five men movement in radiant jungle? Love this when you have these t at level one already. I always feel like Ice Rocks is trying to encourage more fighting, good, and you are keeping Dota with its complex variables. So many factors inside. How versatile this game can be. How much thinking there is involved. Oh, okay. Where to go? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Alright, I'm s excuse me about that. Alright, so it's gonna be just two bound tunes going the way of Panda. Who's gonna win here? Indonesia or Philippines in the mid? WK WK WK. Or how the Indonesians laugh, right? Wak 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 wak. Yeah. So a bit of quick info, yeah. Sorry my voice is not exactly in the right place right now. I literally got the, the notification to cast this game at 6 a.m. in the morning. You know, Blaze is having a tough time, I feel. All the scheduling, so, you know, if you guys, don't forget to follow him on Twitter, right? Blaze casting. It's not, it's not easy scheduling all these matches from so many different time zones, which means probably awake, like, almost 24-7. Okay, yeah, it will be an Omni Knight versus Tiny matchup. NV hard carry on Monkey King. This will be good. I mean, like I said previously during the draft, that the way they adapted to winning against Vineski was that they gave Abed heroes to create space for Envy, which meant that Envy actually could play proper late game heroes and less pressure on them to to, to delay the game. But over the top, you know, I the wild Barbie hyping him behind his tier one tower. Omni Knight, man. Yeah, you get the cleave damage, but with the purification nuke and degen aura, you will take a lot of damage, especially as a tiny. PS-wise, you know, Omni Knight's having a much better time compared to the fight that high right click because you have no armor. And there's very little that DJ and Pi can do at the moment. Can't really gank the fuck, but what they can do is just salvage the situation so that Envy gets at least decent farm in this lane, which he is. You know, he's a 4 0 but the CK 7 0. That says something. Because the block early on, the creep wave did end up getting very close to the one tower. Wasn't safe to just farm. Fighting for that bounty rune, three hero movement, and they will get the stun into clockwork. But I think, yeah, he he likes to go for the level one cogs, not the battery assault. So it's very hard to actually zone any heroes out. Go for you guys. Press for Hades. And alright, Envy getting stunned up with the Kofi proc. He's definitely going to freeze first blood going the way of Nefari. Why Monkey King probably isn't picked that often because to a certain extent this is where that aggressive try can be very annoying. But okay, Envy moving to the top. I think Barbie has seen... Abed, minimum mid lane, you know, 14 6 to the 9 4 on Panda. Abed will have to shred this, pu this puck. Top lane, they are trying to go here into Barbie with that level one bonus strike. It's not going to be enough to damage to kill Barbie. Get selfed up. 
But now they know that Envy is right to the top lane. Maybe they'll do the musical lanes very soon. They have the TP still on the Chaos Knight. Yep. And again. Another stun. Okay, maybe if they dwell lane, they could actually try to put some pressure here onto Barbie. Fari is heading to the middle lane as well. Perhaps they should get a gank here onto Abed. Abed, you know, he's just winning this lane so hard. Top lane again. Rift and the stun. Can they get the chaos bot off? Oh, it's being used. Ferrari, don't want to try off the cold feet proc. Might think about going for it here as they do not have three dance onto eternal end. Does yeah, Jade is here with the spring just to push them back. What's next? What's next? And nah. He's just trying to get as many Jingu Mastery procs off. Because see, this is where I see the defense in some monkey play. Where you would actually I've seen heroes just max out players max out three dance. Over the boundless strike. Oh, it looks like they found enough shaker. Maybe you might find him into the cogs with the battery assault. Dance for me! Dance for me! That's right, pushing him to the easy camp, trying to deny, and never mind, DJ getting the kill. But top, you know, Rezman and AA is still getting the Envy kill. Can't spell feed without EE, right? Nah, it's, it's a really hard game for Monkey King. Zero and two. And Chaos Knight is basically the king of early game fighting carries. Try again. DJ is positioning himself very nice. Okay, but over here, you know, Barbie, like I said, having a great time. 2042, Ohio still matching nicely in the CS, so not all that much is lost. Stunned at how Albert's just destroying this lane. Because usually, as the puck, you have the slight advantage in the range and the base damage. And if you manipulate the creep wave well enough, you can actually break the refraction shard that's over the top. Looks like they get the Fisher and the Freeze as well on Envy. But not enough on enough damage, just a tiny bit. EJ single-handedly pushed two heroes back. Okay. Okay. There's no way they're killing Abed. And because they're playing these musical lanes, the good thing is Abed has free rain. Free farm, basically. 4.9. No 10k MMR. Until Barbie gets that soul ring. Ayo has flight advantage for now with the soul ring first. Oh, bringing Barbie low? Never mind. Where are you tossing to? You actually went for level 3 in the, in the grab. I think, you know, now Envy decides to be ganking. Support support Monkey King now, guys. This, this is what we're at now. Support Monkey King. It's gonna be Bavoka. Relax. It decides to go away. Get top some levels. They are edge. And you can tell Panda, he's just waiting all the way going to the bottom for that double damage rune. Coil as well. He has no place to call home. Ayo and Barbie, it's a bottom lane, they're just trading. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Hi Lion, that's gonna back off here for A. Jungles a bit, could afford to get the lane out. Monkey King needs the pre-dance if he's to actually, you know, happen. Proc, and looks like the reality with DJ might actually end up dying here with the Fisher Balance Track to try and save his teammate. He may have actually just succeeded. Why are you walking back in? Hello? Look at his HP just fall like that. You don't you don't want to mess around with a CK. But that's just selfless envy, you know. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Alright, so two to one and seven minutes in. Very quiet game. I was expecting more kills. But I'm pretty sure if you're the prime, you're Here with the Rift, looking for the stun. The Fisher, but DJ's here to zone him out. Double Barrel Strike, they want to trap one hero. Maybe they will find Earthshaker, who actually trying to get his way out of the cogs. They get the Jingu Mastery proc. One more, he will get that kill. Very nicely done, and Envy finding himself some much needed gold at this point. Okay, Network with the stun and the coil. The rotation is there. Envy will try to right-click his way out of this, but no, breaking the coil. DJ actually will have to tank his damage, but because of the range up, bulk of the damage is gone. Middle lane, this will allow Nafari to actually get much needed EXP. Bottom lane, they want to try and jump here into Ohio. Pilai dies there as well with the stun. Nice juke from Barbie with the sidestep. Going in for the purification heal. Pilai die is die, die, die. Actually, maybe not Avalanche. Oh, never mind. They've cornered him into a tree. 
This is Prime's way of bringing someone upstairs. Jumps coming out from Ohio. Tree grab. It's, it's a difference of max. Not at level 4 though. Oh, extra charges. Okay, that's not so bad. Would have thought he's going for a Midas actually. Picks up the gloves of taste. Now the two men smoke movement coming out. The Prima looking quite strong, I must. Alright. Just hovering at the Roche pit. Join the Golden Roshan. How long more before Golden Roshan's gone though? I'll bet he seems to know he puts a trap there just in case. Could choose to break a smoke, or he might even break the smoke, but he's hiding behind the tier one tower. DJ is there so to cover it up. Yeah, this is why I don't really zoom out because then I can't zoom back in. You can frantically hear me like trying to zoom back in. He's gonna get level 5 from this, so at least with level 3 battery assault, he can isolate another hero. A bounder strike casually into the chaos. Yeah, he does get 3 down to last. Done. He can just drain Omni Knight off. Oh, hi. Ohio found the fire going for the avalanche play. Toss into the air. But okay, purification you. Cold void. Cold feed. One more hit. Oh, Ohio destroying Nafari repel. Ohio does go for the TP out. And it looks like he actually made this turn his eyes. Never mind. Never mind. Ohio throwing him back. And Ohio is dead to Panda. Very timely rotation coming out. Envy was looking to go for the bounty rune, but he didn't want to try and jump into NND. So R7. Rainbow 7? Gen Ruin up for Templar Assassin. 4700 net worth. Puck is only climbing up, catching up because of those kills. 1 0 and 1. And Albert's gonna get a blink dagger and 600 gold. Oh, top lane Envy. En Envy? Fan okay. The Phantasm went away, Puck. Envy might actually die here. Never mind. Has the tree dance. Able to jump away. He's gonna be okay. Looking for the culling blade on the tree. You know, he's actually going to the way to the north. The jukes from Envy are real. And actually, he's gonna get out. He's not gonna die. Still looking for the wild cuttings of trees. He's not gonna find anything here on Rustman. That was scary. But Barbie and Panda will shred Pylai die who dies one more time under his tier 1 tower. No whatsoever. DJ and Ohio coming in right now. They are looking for Rustman. Balance track to catch. Toss in. DJ, the cogs. What good play. And Rustman. Never mind. He's trying to go for the return kill. Never mind. Down goes Rustman. Ohio. And very good rotation. The shrine is down, however, for another minute. The, okay, Abed gets himself a tier 1 tower. Blink dagger complete. Still has ancient stacks. Does he? No, he. Okay, yes, he does. That's on the way. He's extremely farmed. And they will get the tier 1 tower. Going the way to Barbie. Can now afford a Midas. What the hell? Dyer's top tower. If, if you think about it for the memes, if the Prime win this game, Indonesia's back. Fuck champ. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But so far, I think there's this is just the calm before the storm because Abed is just he's about to come online. You can feel it. Popping the refractions. R7 gets a bit too close, but I think this observer was scouted up. Yeah, he's it's got out of the TA. It was just day vision seven seconds ago. So Bormen smoke movement, they might catch Abed. <coughs> they catch Abed over here. I think they can. They're walking up. They know that Abed's there. Abed, Abed, get out! The blink. Oh, he jukes the coil. 10k game sense. And you're going to look for more using the trap. It's going to slow them down. Purification to Rustman just in case. But Abed's going to be okay. He's even going to go back to fuck the golem sub just in case. Never mind. Sees Barbie. Take a couple of hits. And the arcane ring, you know? Blink out as well. So, good job to basically foil that smoke gank. Jay going in and with the CK not there, they actually might end up finding some support kills if they're lucky. They put in a deep observer one down. Kyle and DJ. They have hook shot. Yes, they do. Also could isolate the Chaos Knight. Dreamly fat Barbie. And his own Barbie world farming ancient stack. Oh no, it's not ancient stacks, hard camp stack. 
Bee needs to catch up and farm. Phase Woods going for the Shadow Blade first item. Choosing to go for more Fighting Build, which is to bound the Strike, but he doesn't have the items to do so just yet. That's pretty much why you usually see like when Boboka plays Monkey King, he'll max up the tree dance. It's good at pushing out waves, it farms way quicker in general, which is and that's why I realized that carry monkey kings, at least the ones which farm up extremely fast, just leave Jingu Mastery at level one. Our bet's not Indonesian, our bet's Filipino. Pretty sure of that. The Rosman, very fat. Armlet, Soaring, Treads, Echo Saber on the way. I feel like Echo Saber isn't exactly the item to go for. He should just go into the Halberd or Manta style straight up. Purely because I think the item just isn't worth. That doesn't help you scale as much as it. It's pretty really decent for the stats, but that's about it. In between and the Arbet, they could actually look to catch some heroes off here. They have a sentry. Do they know? Yes, they do. Arbet about to be completely ganked with. Ooh, all these spells being thrown. Down goes Tanky. Three man impale, but what else? DJ will go with the TP out. Echo Slam's gonna be Echo Lol. Oh, gonna mind to catch him. DJ's down for the count as well. Two heroes for absolutely nothing. What a convenient. Okay, finger. I just wanted that kill. Hashtag worth it. Getting the double impale off, and he will still die. BV1. Okay, um. <laughs> That was awkward. That was very, very awkward. But I guess there was no way Abed would have known about the sentry over here, right? It's like the most random thing. There's no way you could have expected. But they probably thought there was an observer ward around here. So just checking. Man of convenience. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Okay. So, if you guys are looking to watch for some more Filipino Dota, after this series, of course, you know, we will have TNC versus WG Unity. So maybe even Malaysia Pride or the Singaporeans in the chat as well, you know, Miracle Pride, right? The Naga God. But obviously, they don't pick him Naga anymore. But I mean, back into the series, this is where I say, like, the tiny... Pretty good at creating some, some space across the map, I would say. You know, obviously, with Tiny's nukes. But we haven't seen him be as active as he would like. Monkey King's still trying to farm up his next item. The level 4 Boundless Strike, like, the reason why you put the Treance also is because the stun. The stun scaling is extremely weak. Boundless Strike doesn't help you out that much. You see, if he had maxed out Treance, his creep wave would pretty much be dead. They bring in Ohio, and if Highlight die as well, they want to try and get this Barbie doll. Once you have the Treance, looking for it. Actually, with the Repel, they can't get Barbie. Never mind. Never mind. Hard game to be a Monkey King. So far behind. Envy is just trying his hand on a pause for. Don't worry, guys. He'll play proper carry soon. AJ does a hook shot. Gardel, that's where does he want to go? Yep, they found him. Looking. Oh, he actually can't get the cock to push them away. But Envy will just end up getting shredded by Rasman who pops the Phantasm. DJ still has a hook. He might actually be forced to pop it to go run away to the creeps. Arbet still looking for that opic to try and catch R7. He hasn't had any luck at all. And with this case, that quick blink dagger has been wasted for absolutely nothing. No timing at all. Putting the trap behind. Someone was actually paying attention. Do these guys have map hack? What the hell? Yeah, they're just pinging out the traps. Yeah, I'm not sure what this Omni Knight is doing, but why would you be randomly be just looking over here? At what the... Solar crust up onto the Omni Knight as well. Gotta admit, the Prime. <coughs> Alright, so. Next item for Barbie. Not too sure what's coming up yet, but Ohio and Clockwork again will try for the Omni Knight today. I'm very skeptical whether they can actually get this kill here. Okay, Barbie. Okay. I mean, they have a hookshot to cancel, right? Yep, they do. Guardian Ninja's gonna be popped. Toss the Perfication Heal. Okay. I mean, that's just one way to try and kill an Omni Knight, right? But all these heroes of the Prime coming in, Fnatic are running faster away than anything I've ever seen before. Where he is? Do they have a dagger on the pup? Yeah, they do. Smoke movement in. I mean, when Omni Knight runs at you, you run away. You, you don't run back in. Regardless of whether he's alone or not. 
Envy will still try to make his way into that battle fury. But to Rosman, they want to try and carry him with the Boundless Strike. Looking at that Melt Strike kill, will it be enough damage? Abed already with the Desto. Can he kill him off? Look at the Fisher. Never mind, Abed gets the big Rosman kill. Bit of help there from Pylai Dai as well. And he has a finger, so he's looking to finger somebody. For an enemy jungle, Ohio, he's found Nafari. Spanking him down at that big tree. All right, now they're trying to jump into Barbie. No hook shot to cancel the TP. Not enough damage, never mind. Try for the toss play. Over in the top, they want to get Nafari. They have a finger. They want to give the kill here to Envy. Who is waiting? Is that the trees? Echo Slam's going to be used. Uh, okay, Fisher and down goes Pylai Dai. Go, oh, he will get that one kill. Brought it inside. Ah, oh, Envy, not like this. Not like this. Alright, so two for one for a very unnecessary kill. Under a tier 2 tower, they, sh they probably should have just like gone for the impale straight into the finger, go straight out for the max damage. You need to nuke some. Okay, so 12 to 9, but Fnatic still maintain the gold advantage purely because Abed has such a. Fari putting a sentry down. Okay, see trap. Yeah. Okay, so Panda next. I haven't seen him scale as much as you would like yet. I mean, he has been involved in a couple of key rotations, but net worth wise, he's falling behind the Chaos Knight and the Omni Knight, which means he's probably actually the real three this game. Barbie just has to stick around. Monkers can disable and beat you. <laughs> Not like this. Why? I'm actually, I'm actually heartbroken now. Uh, I'm heartbroken if you buried my voice. Rest in peace, you know, PMS, rest in peace, I and Talon, but the real sadness here, guys, is rest in peace. Monkers on beat. Okay, but back to the game, we're, we're gonna see things just kind of. Quieten down for just a bit. You could actually think about jumping here into the Monkey King. They have the coil. Envy is dead. They, he could actually go for the TP out. Never mind. He's gonna try and pop. He's gonna try and turn around here. What? Why? He could have TP'd out. I'm extremely confused. This is not one case where scientists are baffled, but Cast is extremely speechless. Well, DJ with the hook shot, could look for a turn to play. Yeah, who's he gonna find? He's gonna go straight for the ancient after the One, two, three, down. He goes to Abed. Tuck, getting caught, no coil, no way to catch him. Rusman actually will get stunned up though. They were gonna try and fight this under the shrine, not the best idea. Purification new comes in, Panda gets the kill. Abed will walk out and so will Ohio. Lime, you know, bottom lane, just trying to farm his way up slowly, get the tier one tower, it will fall. So map control still favoring Fnatic as they have taken out basically all the tier ones and one tier two top. So very, still pretty nicely done. Now the BKB and Abed as well, he can actually still go in very hard. Some of these prime heroes. Domni Knight's so big. 2k gold. Actually, I think he might actually... Money hands. And oh, what the... Bullying Panda. They didn't even need the finger for that, just more than enough use. Uh, ben, he's just play playing a... With Barbie, you know, who has a gem. Sorry for missing that. Excellent. So pretty decent gold swing. They get the ward out as well. So map control just not being there for Fnatic as the prime. Been extremely on point so far with just de-warding all the time. But that's also because, you know, he had a gem. So it's not it's not happy. It's not cheating guys. Relax. All the salty betters. Gambler. Gambling's bad. Just just chill, yeah? Hi. Yeah, for Fisher's gonna be there, and of course, R7, he had a blink dagger, of course. One, two, three, Rosman, that would do what he got, Mafila. One, two, three, Daila. Very, very basic. You can put a Tinker Ward as well, to scout anybody hiding inside the trees, would help as they try to push the tier 2 bottom lane. Easy Aegis going the way to Abed. 
Hero trying to go to the top lane, battle free out with the Monkey King, which means he's actually going to scale very quickly. Oh, he's just lagging a bit, just a bit. The pause for Monkey King can now play as a pause one because he's going to be farming up extremely quick with this. Under attack. Okay. Very easy. Looks like they will get a free tier to a tower. Abed gets a tier two mid as well. Running out of auto tower is the prime. I mean, I don't, I don't question that the prime right now they have, they're making the right movements, but they need to contest these towers. Technically, I still feel like they can fight this. They can fight this TA. And actually, no. Omni Knight went back into that mech, choosing not. The big things also in the next item for Abed is when he completes the Orchid, that's gonna help a lot. You get the silence into the puck or the Omni Knight, that's gonna help them. That silence is gonna be doing some, that's all I can say. But so far, we are waiting for the Lincoln Spear to come on a Panda, Shadow Bait coming on to a Shaker, Ancient Apparition not even going for a Midas this game, doesn't feel like this. Lion, 200 gold away from that Blink Dagger, and Paradise being given farm priority, he can't actually go too close to the bottom lane. They put so many sentries down just in case they were scouting out in case of a Shadow Blade player or some Invis here coming in. Ohio Shadow Blade, oh that's why. And a ton of heroes, you know, Pai doesn't want to die here. For the first game, still another intense game. You know, of course now in C we have so many upcoming teams. Or upcoming talents as well. Now with the full smoke rotation coming out from the Prime. There you go. Rusman Blink Dagger onto him. This Chaos Knight doesn't exactly have the strongest of fighting items, but he has strong initiation items. They found Abed. Looks like he can they chain him down. Yes, they can. Kofi Proc is there as well, and Abed will lose his Aegis. This is where they have to try and turn around where the rest of the heroes. And DJ is going to get completely crit down. Panda actually missing the coil. Never mind, Ice Blast is coming in. And fighting inside the Wukong's command, Bobby, can he get nuked down the mech? The Guardian Angel, they just can't kill him off. And Palai is gonna waste all those spells for nothing. Three heroes dead. I bet the BKB is gonna try and hold his ground, but looks like he may actually end up dying here. Ohio will find out with Robbie. Bobby, gem is on the floor. What can they do? Right, so they still end up getting the gem. It's gonna be a three for three trade. Considering how that went, plus the Aegis as well, I would say Fnatic are very lucky not to have lost even more. Grease from Omni Knight, keeping him alive as long as possible. Ohio's looking for a snipe potentially on the, onto the puck. Puck immediately got out. Ohio's not giving up. He wants that booty. A prize. And that, that was strangely good. I'll bet if it in this rune. Yeah. That, you know, Panda's itemization has failed. Hasn't been able to scale as well as you would like. Oh, Abed. Abed. One, two, out he goes. Goodbye. Trying to go on to Rosman. <laughs> Never mind. But now yeah, you can see the power of this TA 18,000 net worth. He You know, Abed going into his Crick's Deliver next. Trying to get blood thorn. Three men small coming out from the side of Fnatic as they have 10 seconds left to the next finger. Let's see who is going to be Paladise next victim. Going to BKB next. Looks like their next target will be Barbie. They get the Hex. Going for the Fisher on two. They're looking at the hook shot, but it's going to be blocked by his own teammate. Finger lol. One, two. The Orchid candy kill, but no, the Greaves has already been used. And yes, they actually will get the Barbie kill nonetheless. R7, do they know he's dead? Do they have a gem? Come on, get a bit closer. Where's the gem? What? I thought. Oh, gems on Rustman. Okay. Oh, this is good. They don't know that the Earthshaker is there. If they group up for this, they can keep the call behind for a backstab and for a very nice echo slam. Lamy? Holding his ground. This guy is B R A V E brave. He just holds his ground the entire time. Now he will finally move. 
monkey. I'm pretty sure they see monkey. They're gonna be hunting for this. Bring it into the ice blast. Fisher bounce. Down goes Envy one more time. And okay, okay. That's just one way of dealing with it. Highest wasted like. Very unfortunate that just now with the Fisher, they probably could have killed the the Omni Knight off more efficiently. Then they could have gone for more kills. They actually had the timing too. They caught the Omni Knight off guard. Okay, so let's see. Okay, next item, heart. Oh, can actually afford the full heart. That's a big item. Well, now that he's so tanky, this is where you desperately need a Bloodthorn to come up. Evan the Courier, yes he does. Okay, and then he's actually good for a Hex next, which cannot be dispelled. Okay, the Hex is a great item now, because if you guys didn't read, read the patch notes, Hex is non-dispellable. Oh, they found DJ. Dead J. Yeah, they caught him one more time. Even with the pipe, he's just dead. Panda will get that kill. Ice Blast is wasted. With Ice Blast down, they actually have a good timing window to try and actually push this top tier 3, or even get some siege damage off. But Arben has different plans, you know, if Arben wants to just kill out the creep wave, just push him out. Pyo, BKB done, going to Assault Kueras. Assault's gonna help against... Okay, Envy is still trying to follow up his next item. Go be the BKB up at 600 more. So 2016 and like I said, 5,000 gold advantage, very narrow lead in this case because that's a tier you're expected to actually you know, get more kills or I wouldn't say get more kills but more like have such a big impact that these guys, you want to snowball off the lanes. But they see the heart into Rustman, he's just tanking the tier 1 tower, he doesn't actually care, he just wants to take the tower. With those talents as well, 15 strength, you know, 5 all stat, didn't go for the, the cooldown reduction, you might think about Reality Rift next because Reality Rift pierces piercing sp spell immunity, it's going to help so much against BKBs. And I actually feel he can destroy. It looks like he will destroy. Ohio, I'll see someone up into the A. Almost brings down R7, which he actually does. Panda's gonna orb away right now. They don't wanna go for kills. DJ trying to catch one hero with the slow. Looks like they actually find will find Nofari. Going for the ice blast only onto DJ. And there's no way they're going back in for that. Very nicely done. He wouldn't have survived even if he didn't cast the spells anyways. Just like that, two heroes, no buyback, no Earth Shaker. This is a big opening for Fnatic to just capitalize on this. Go for the high ground. They have the double siege card as well. Right, he's just trying to get whatever denies he can, you know. Don't let Rustman get that stuff. Doesn't want to stay there. Oh, two lanes pushing in. Another two cards top lane. Might consider this. Never mind. They, they actually back off. They don't want to take the risk. No finger. Probably not. BKB now on the Monkey King. Ideally, you want to wait for the next World Shaman, which is in two minutes and a half. But in that time, you know, CK. I'm sorry, how fat you as a Monkey King, you will lose to a very fat CK in the late game. This guy is the king of late game. And even if you're a TA, you will also lose because of how many illusions they are, how tanky they are, and it's quite disgusting the damage. Extra chance for an extra Phantasm chance if you have four big TKs hitting you. And damage you, you gives out to 100%. Those crits do a lot of damage, by the way. 275% crit with lifesteal. Alright, so pandas. Once again, I said he's going for that Lincoln Spear, but that's because he went back to the yield. So that, that's the reason why it's delaying his itemization just a tad bit. Finally, almost for us. Finger. Okay, he's going for the lens as well. Sorry, I can't really see. My mic is blocking like the bottom right of my screen. Now you'll see a smoke guy come up. Four men smoke. Now would be a great time to try and kill the TA who is actually split up from his team. Go for Ohio instead. They know they're, they're waiting around that area. Rosman, Rosman, you know where the tiny is? I think he may. You no, know, Albert's there. The trap came down. They're picking up the ancients area. They want to kill Ohio, but it's like a wasted smoke actually at this point.
But right now, let's see. What else will they do? I think they could actually try for a smoke attempt of their own. They do have the buyback. They're just hugging around the tier on tower because you know heroes have been off the map for a very long time. You want to be near each near each other for constant smoke. But right now, there we go, Fnatic. Taking initiative, they will go for the loop around and with the drawings on the map, it will be the perfect loop. They can actually just find the targets. Monkey King's on the way, taking out the creep wave. Slowly making his way to the team. Find the hook shot with the silence immediately. Down goes Puck. Destroyed immediately. R7 going for the TP out. Anything to cancel? Yes. Wow. The fire is dead. R7 to follow. Do they have the dust? Dust is a very expensive thing. And they actually will just go straight to cut off the creep wave. Monkey King in the middle lane. Trying for the solo kill here to Rasman. Uh. Uh, uh, he just wants the Jingo Mastery Prox. Fire was sort of coming in. Just like that, they have the tier 3 towers. Very easily taken out, maybe forcing up the puck buyback as well. Might even go to the top lane. R7 has an Echo Slam. Do you want to think about going back out? Never mind. Abed's waiting, he is looking. Thought about going for Panda if he was just quicker, maybe could have gone for the quick silence instead. Now they can go for the shrines. Fnatic have found themselves a very big opening. Well, you're welcome too. And all right, Radiant side will get the Roshan. Abed taking the Aegis cheese to pie. Abed. B Hex, he's got all the items he needs, right? So when the Aegis is done, he just swapped the BKB in. Phoenix item, actually going for a butterfly. This is pretty big because CK doesn't have an MKB and he's still going for the Manta style. Talk bottom lane, wants that level 25 talent, dude. Level 25 talent, I'm telling you, that's, that's the gold talent right there. That's hot sauce. Because 420 GPM. Very quick. That's, you just AFK for a bit. I think you actually get like a Dagon in AF King for 5 minutes. Yep, they're trying to find heroes here. They found Rosman. DK, get out. Media Blinker. Puck is finding some a lot of gold. Taking care of the shrine. Pi is gonna slowly right click that shrine. No? Step at the time. Over here. Oh dear, they actually. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Okay. Most unfortunate. They have the courier spell shield. Uh, Envy. He is catching up. You know, he's surpassed the park in net worth. Obviously, it's a Monkey King battle for you. You're going to have. Blessings. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Okay, so 20 to 20 and have a 19,000 gold advantage. Fnatic still not able to close this game out yet, but they look like they're on their way. There's a sentry there, I don't think Dyer's they know about it. Okay, yeah, they will pick. Is under attack. I mean, I gotta admit, this game has been somewhat clowny. It's, it's been fun. But I still think that the Prime, if they drag this out Dyer's just maybe 10 more minutes, they could actually attack. hold on. For a win here, at least in game one. Purely because, like I said, CK is the king of late game. There's no way you beat this hero. Not like that. Unless maybe you're terrible. It's all about the illusion gaming, right? So many CK illusions. They don't have the best of clear unless you get like a finger. Or you actually quickly use the, the line specifically just to take out two of the illusions. Hayo will be the one standing. He drums out. Yup, they will go straight for the racks now with this Aegis. Committing onto this, using the Fisher, they will get the Freeze prop. Going for the Silence as well, but no, immediate blink out. 10k MMR Jukes right there, that's high skill. Or maybe because I'm just a shitty TA player. Alright, so... I wanna take this racks ASAP. Racks, hit the racks, hit the racks, racks, racks. Racks will end up going down here, going for the plays. Can they try going with the Echo Slam? Oh dear. It's alright, it's alright. TA quick jukes, 10k and more jukes, and R7 is gonna get hit on. What the play from Abed? 
And Rasman will take a DJ, but it's alright. Now Envy getting stunned up. Popping's BKB standing from the tier 4 towers. They will just take him out. What the hell? Okay, I'll bet he can go back in now. Popping the Wukong's command. They're gonna try to keep Envy alive, but the Guardian Angel Fisher there will finish him off. I'll bet gonna try and men fight his way through this Aegis. So we pop. Can he save him? Anything? Can he do anything? Save him! Never mind, he blinks out. Abed's okay. Tank him around Jukes. Like I said, he's gonna be okay, but with the stun, trapping him inside the trees, Abed goes down to Rosman. And that's gonna be three heroes dead. Together with Ohio, they actually find one more. Using the cheese, Ohio's gonna need to get out of there. And never mind, um, jeez. It's okay. Ooh. That was clowny, and because of the multiple tosses, Huffshaker still ends up dying. That was. Three toss charges, guys. I mean. I don't even know what's happening anymore. With the finger at Pylai Dai, he's gonna right click Lafari and get the kill. Solo kill here for Pylai Dai. Four heroes dead on each side. And complete chaos has happened here. That's that's what happened. They do, they do get the melee back, so that's still a big win for Fnatic. Here for the MDLC qualifier, only in the quarterfinals where we have a best of three to lead up. Now, neither of these teams wants to be eliminated so early on. Rasman, he still has the tools to pretty much cope with this. Probably get rid of the Echo Saber. Like I said, you probably want the Radiance, but he's up. Omni Knight's going straight out utility. Mix Adam, Egg, and Scepter. And yes. Well. Wait for the level 25 talent, guys. It's either the Earth Spike range or the AoE Hex. Which is better here? I... It's very situational. I mean, both are good. It almost feels like a preference thing, but AoE, you can't say no to AoE. Not always about length. It's always about the girth. You know what I mean? I, I bet? T 10k MMR and BKB? What? I don't know at this point, man, guys. I think maybe it's because it's the first game of the day. Everyone's not warmed up or something. I've seen so much clowny stuff happen today. Like, I, I can't even explain what I begin to comprehend what's going on in this game. I'm just... I'm just stunned. So... Man, if, if Abed pulls off another play like that, just blinking out like that again, I think that that could be enough to tilt the prime. But the fact is, they still traded evenly with an Aegis and they killed Abed twice. They will be confident enough to know that they still have. A like I said, with the puck level 25 time coming up, he's gonna scale super good. The eggs, and that's why Envy was stunned earlier on with the BKB coil. BKB coil, you know, BKB doesn't do shit anymore. Eggs coil is legit stuff. The coil damage is quite strong as well. Break is 500 damage, receptor 700. That's all. Alright, so clockwork, eggs on the way for DJ. We'll go for a smoke play. R7 doesn't have the level 3 echo slam yet, but he. Looks like they're in a good step to finding DJ. They got the flare, they found him in reality rear, looking for the stun. DJ's gonna be caught. Ghost Scepter's gonna be there. Fisher to trap him out one more time, looking for the chain stuns, and down goes the DJ. Rest in peace. Pogs, never mind. Trapping them inside, and there's no way to catch up with this. So losing your four. Tank the smoke gank, not the biggest loss. Looking for the coil, perhaps they knew Abed was there. Why did you not coil? This will come never mind. Empty. And Abed's just riding off the top lane. Yep, now put top, CK will be the solo hero to go back. Maybe they might be able to find heroes off, you know, R7, he spotted out Abed, but immediate TP reaction out, looking for the Fisher play just to mess around with him. And they, oh, they have a ward there. Hello, hello, good friends. Rusman, at this point, he has Eternal Envy's number in his pockets. He's been finding him every single time. Also that, and he likes Monkey King. I believe that's a, del that's a delicacy in China which is banned, by the way, Monkey King Brain. That was actually a thing. 
Oh, the Hex comes up from Pilai Dai. They want to go for Panda with the stun and the finger to GA. Global GA. Okay. Um, nice gank. It looks like they will find Ohio Ice Blast coming in. And Ohio is dead. Popping the BKB. He's going to try Man Fight this. Going for the straight TP out. Ohio Reality Rift bypassing Magic Community. But it's okay. It's alright. Ohio lives to tell, you know, tell the tale another day. Talent minus sevens, reality rift armor reduction. Okay, yeah, that's strong. That's very strong. Earthshaker wants that echo damage pretty soon. Damage would be pretty decent, but R7, he's found DJ. Opting to look around for the big key target, which will be Arbet. If they can just chain it, but look for the Fisher, they have an echo if they need to use it as well. Popping the BKB turns around straight for Panda. Arbet. Okay, Hookshot coming in, push him away back from the cogs. Phantasm has already been popped. They want to try and catch these heroes here. Immediate TP reaction out. They'll go straight for DJ. Getting Chaos Bot out. Can't find a big key target, which was the TA blocks from Rosman. And then with the crit, brings down DJ one more time. At this point, DJ 3, 7, 11. Doesn't have a choice but to play it nice and safe. Ohio. Hi, they are looking for one hero. They won't find anyone here, that's for sure. Oh, actually, hold on, they found Rosman. They get the silence up, looking for the Hex, they need to chain him up perfectly. Yes, they will bring him down with the finger. Abed, that's a godlike streak going the way of this TA. That's a huge chunk of gold. Immediate Moon Shard. And now they can push for a lane of Rax or even force the buyback out from the CK. Alright, going for the... The stun up here, Envy with the butterfly, popping the BKB, he's gonna lay out the Wukong's command just to take this tower. This one will be worth it, but never mind. TK buys back, it's okay. They're not gonna force the issue. And look at these wards pla the ward placement coming up from the Prime. It's all about the anti Envy wards. The anti Abed wards. But going back in, but after the CK buyback, if CK dies one more time, 30 seconds before Phantasm is up. Money I am mighty. Okay, so big stuff, you know. Prime still has this game, like I said, against the CK. And this is just the respect coming up from Fnatic. They understand the power of the CK late game carry. Ohio would be alone top. Man, his right click is starting to hurt like a truck. Pass requires no target. How does that even work? But minus 10 second tree grab cooldown. I guess that's always good. It's basically like a free axe, right? You just fight near the trees. Crit damage though. Hot sauce, Rosman is going straight into the Roche pit. Can they sneak the Roche on? Actually might end up fighting Envy as their smoke breaks going straight for Eternal Envy popping the BKB but Reality Rift is there with the BKB now the balance strike they try to turn things around global Oh Guardian Angel sorry but okay Ice Blast coming into Arbet they can right click him down down goes Arbet for 100 seconds Fisher catching onto Pilate Die Do they need an echo for this? Yes they do onto two heroes it looks like both DJ and Pilate Die being caught so the follow up the fingers can be used they actually will take him out Gem is on the floor Envy still left throughout all of this or how gonna try man fight but Rustman like I said is so fat there's no way to kill this Chaos Knight he's gonna find two immediate buyback well he actually buyback as well never mind Rustman about to fall down a long last and down he goes this is somehow somehow they're able to win this fight but at the cost of the Ohio buyback Barbie purification come on the repel Envy will right click him down it's gonna be a 3 for 2 trade an immediate buyback sound. Templar starts going straight to the top lane. They know that the CK is down. Oh dear, he's found Panda. He's found Panda. Looking for it. Never mind. Panda will survive. But here series R7 coming in. He actually dodges the ice blast. Pro. He's going straight for the melee barracks. And just like that, after killing the big target, which is the Chaos Knight. They are going to secure themselves. Mega creeps here. Which I feel is for sure. No Omni Knight, no CK. Disaster. Uh, 
Right hook shot in. Looks like they'll find R7. Cox pushing back. Envy. Never mind. Coils there. Turning in Abed. He's going to work on Panda. But he's going to be okay. And Envy might actually end up dying here. The double shot killed him. Looking to the Ice Blast. Envy is dead. Nice double impale. And DJ and Pi getting themselves a kill each. Puck will buy back. They want to try and fight this. Envy will buy back as well. What the heck is this game? Mega Creeps have already been bought. This game is over, but the Prime are still fighting. I mean, this is C Pride, right? The game is not over till the throne is down. It is never over till the throne is down. CK is up for 30 seconds. They can try to fight against Megas. But at this point, he needs to get rid of the Almond. Going to a Meonia, I feel. Never mind, never mind. Ancient Evolution going to be kept alive by the Omni Knight. Lotus Sword and all. Yeah, you know. You, you can't really kill him that easily. Ukong's come on, he'll come out with the balance strike on two. Down goes Nefari. Barbie to follow, perhaps. Ancient Ambition buys back. Ice Blast, do they want to hold? They're going straight for the tier 4 towers. And of course, you know, with the plus 100 armor, Ukong's come on. Balance. Using the coil. Gonna try and fight, hold them there. Never mind. Deep away. They get the, actually the double stun. With the Ice Blast as well. It's a dieback on Abed. Is this a big opening? Rustman has just come back up as well. Balance strike on two. Rosman, he's gonna try and go for Envy. He has a blink. They don't want to chase. Yep, they found Ohio. They know that the buybacks were used, but they have no detection. No, not like this. And Envy survives through all this. He's gonna keep pressuring out the top lane. Big opening. Come on, 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 come on. Mantis Star just want to push out the Megas. And like I said, the CK is how fat he is. They can fight against Mega Creeps somewhat decently here. At this point, you really need... See that the Roshan is up. Abed down for 70 seconds though. The Prime, they still have the opening to try and at least force something out here. Gem? No, they do not. They have no detection. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Relax. Relax. They, I don't think they have a choice. They might actually have to go all the way straight mid, but they just don't have enough items. Even with this 420 GPM talent, you see Puck is going for... You only just want to creep clear. Palada is still there. Went for 325 AoE. They are still gonna push very slowly down for the tier 2 tower. Hookshot catching them off, but it's found two. The AoE Hex is there. They found the Barbie. The Barbie is the dead Barbie. Dead B. Tossing them up in the air. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so much flying echo on two. But they will bring down DJ. DJ buys back and they kill Ohio here. Monkey King is trying to push on in the base. Pilot gets the Hex again onto Barbie. But they just can't kill this guy. They have the Guardian Angel. Hookshot gonna connect. It's just gonna catch up one. It's gonna find R7 and R7 is dead. No buybacks for 80 seconds on this guy. And the tier 4 towers are down. Throne is exposed. Rosman still defending the base. Ohio taking care of Barbie at long last. You know, just multiple heroes flying around. Envy's coming in with the bar strike. He's gonna try and pop Ukong's command, but he's gonna get right clicked in. <laughs> Hello? What the hell? What the heck is this game? All right, yeah, you won't, if you can't get the Wukong's command off, that 100 armor is not going to do any good. See, ah, man, if they kill him again, they can still hold for a while more. Rustman, sell that. Seriously, sell the armor. It's not going to do you that good right now. You need the Mayonic to creep clear just a bit better. Throw now taking some serious damage. Cox to push them into the throne, some into the fountain. They're gonna try to hold it. The finger down goes Nafari, and of course, in the Mega Creeps, GG will be called. Looking for the coil here, but it's okay, he's already dead. 